वेलकम बैक टू एम एस प्रोजेक्ट टू थाउजेंड टेन वीडियो ट्यूटोरियल सीरीज बाई ग्रूप डॉट नेट इन लेसन थ्री पॉइंट सेवन वी सी हाउ टू चेक द प्लान ड्यूरेशन सो फर्स्ट वी सी हाउ टू चेक द स्टार्ट एंड फिनिश डेट्स हाउ टू ऑटो शेड्यूल हाउ टू चेक द टास्क लिंक्स एंड हाउ टू चेक ओवरऑल प्रोजेक्ट प्लान For this tutorial, you can use the sample project prepared at the end of lesson 3.5, available on Group .net. So, in this project plan, as a first step, we can go to the project tab, click Project Information. Now, we should first check the start date of the project or the finish date. that is whichever date from which we desire to schedule if we know the start date and we want to schedule from the start date we can enter the date here if we are not sure about the start date but we know that what is the date at which the project has to be finished then you can say schedule from project finish date and enter the date here for our purpose let us take project start date and let us put a back date for the project so that it is easier for us during tracking the current date will automatically be shown and we can click okay now how do we make the start and finish dates visible in our view we can go to add new column and choose start to make the start dates visible and we can go to another add new column and click finish to make the finish dates available let us hide this column in between okay so right now you will see that the start dates for each of the activities is shown as the first date of st project starting that is 5th of december and the finish dates are all just the durations added to the start date this is happening so because we have not yet scheduled the project so the next step is to schedule the project or let ms project calculate the finish and start dates for each of these tasks for that we can select all the tasks go to the task tab go to the tasks sub tab and click auto schedule you can see all the changes that have come by auto scheduling the project now if you see for the first task which is finalization the start date is the start date where which we enter in the project information the finish date is 20 days which is the duration added to the start date now one thing we can see here is that it is not just 20 days directly added here but 20 working days added as per the calendar that we have mentioned now the next activity which is signing contract we had defined a relationship as finish to start after finalization of plans and it has a duration of 1 day so if finalization of plans finishes on the 30th of december which is a friday then taking the calendar into consideration it will take saturday sunday off and then the monday will be shown as the start date for this activity it has a duration of only one day so it finishes on the same day the next activity for example securing the permit it starts on the day after fourth if you see the bigger outline task they show a summary of the start date for all the tasks under that and the finish date is the last day at which all the summary tasks will finish let us now take a look at the chart 
if you see now in the chart for each of these tasks a bar is represented and finish to start relationships have started being defined here the calendar is shown on the top with the sunday monday tuesday marked and for each of these activities it shows that once this task is finished then only the next task begins to see the entire project chart together you can right click on the time bar and you can say zoom and you can show entire project so the entire project will the start of the project to the end of the project will be compressed here and you can see the duration and link for all the tasks let us now check the linkage of the tasks that we had shown we had defined wherever we had defined finish to start relationships you can see that it is only after one activity finishes that the next activity starts and now let us check the overall project plan within each task let us say within general conditions the first task is finalization of plans which takes 20 days the second task is signing the contract which takes 1 day and the signing of contract will start only after finalization of plans is over so the summary task which is general conditions is shown as having a duration of 21 days which is 20 plus 1 and the start date is the start date of the first activity and the finish date is the finish date of the last activity same way it is calculated for all the sub tasks and finally if you see the main project heading it, the msp calculates the entire duration of your project and it shows a value of 152 days this includes the relationship between the various tasks the actual working calendar with holidays that you have considered so it gives the start date of the project and the final finish date of your project so to summarize we have seen how to check the start and finish dates how to auto schedule how to check the task links and how to check the overall project plan a sample of the project plan with complete scheduling up to this stage is available on group.net Thank you for joining us on this video tutorial. In the next part of the video tutorial series, we see how to set up people resources.